I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, lean in construction. Everyone has a different definition for lean in construction. Some people say it's about the elimination of waste, continuous improvement. Some people say it's about learning. I like all of those, that's a jam. But I've been looking at a pattern and deciphering a pattern throughout the last 25 years of my experience in construction and have found what I believe is the perfect definition for lean in construction. So now when people ask you, what is lean? You'll know exactly one, two, three, four, this is the definition, and you will be able to use that pattern on your projects. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what most lean consultants get wrong and where we should actually start from an implementation standpoint according to the definition. I'm gonna show you the four components of lean and outline each one of them so you can use the pattern. And I'm also gonna show you how you can begin tomorrow to start your lean journey. So stay with us, we're gonna have a good time. So first and foremost, I wanna say, I love me some lean consultants. I love all of you consultants, let me give you a heart. You, I love you. But we have got to get on the same page about where to start. Most lean consultants will say, let's start with a continuous improvement program. And I love continuous improvement, it's a jam. But continuous improvement of what? What are we improving? And so that's why we have to know where to start and we have to know the model. And so if you ever hear a consultant saying, oh, let's just come in, let's start a continuous improvement system, be cautious because you're gonna waste a lot of time because you don't know yet what you're improving. And that's gonna be clear when I get back over there to that flip chart. I'm just waiting, I'm itching to get over there. All right, so let's talk about the four parts to lean in construction. Number one, respect for people and resources. The reason that this is so important is because everything else we do must be based on respect. If we don't, then we're improving potentially a damaging and disrespectful system that will hurt people. And so if you go back to the origins of lean, if you study the Toyota production system, if you really get to talking to some people that really know what they're doing here, then you'll understand, and I will too, that respect is the foundation. If we don't respect the fundamental nature of people, who people are, provide the right conditions, that we're not providing the right environment. And so that means that we will, in construction, take care of people, not overburden them, not put them in unsafe situations, really provide for remarkable conditions on site like bathrooms and lunchrooms and huddle systems, and people will be sent home better than they came to us. And that is the fundamental principle of lean. And it means that the equipment and the materials that we use, that we order, that we install, will be respected and not wasted and that we, instead of living in an old time economy of scale or economy of abundance, we will start to live in an economy of respect and of valuing our resources. So that's principle number one. Principle number two is stability and flow. So number two, stability. I love this concept. And this goes back to the question that I asked, what are we improving? Well, if you are improving a stable environment, that means the company or the project site knows how they wanna do business, has outlined how they wanna do business, and has trained on how they wanna do business, and created a stable environment that flows with the tact production system, then that is an environment that you can improve. So if you are in a chaotic environment where on your project site, everyone's changing this way and that way and things aren't consistent all the time, if you wanna make a little improvement effort, which I'll uh, symbolize with this little S, you're improving one day and then the next and then the next and then the next, you're all over the place. You're not improving anything, you're in chaos. But if you have a stable standard system, you can do an improvement effort, now you have a new baseline. Improvement effort, now you have a new baseline. Improvement effort, now you have a new baseline. So instead of flatlining like this image, you're constantly on an upward trajectory. So you must have cleanliness, you must have safety, you must have organization, and you must have a flowable, visible schedule on your project site to even start to implement lean in construction. Number three, 
total participation. What this means is, and actually I should say total participation with visual systems. So I'll put with, and I'll just put visuals right here. That means that everybody on your project site, not just a few people, but everyone on the project site is interacting with the project plan, the schedule, and with the visuals that you have on the project site. That means I don't really, I mean, I care about every, I care about you and everything you're doing, but I don't really care if uh, two to 12 people are participating with the system. I want all foremen, all crew leaders, I want all workers participating so that you see as a group, know as a group, and act as a group. Meaning that everyone's following the systems. Only then can you then focus on continuous improvement and quality. So that means you have visual systems, visual signage, visual scheduling, meetings and huddles, and a culture that you've created on your project site so that everyone reacts with that or interacts with that stable system and according to respect for people. Now, let me give you the fourth one. You're gonna to wanna to sit down. I hope you're sitting down. If you're driving, why are you watching YouTube while you're driving, bro? Like, hey, hey but I want you to be sitting down. Okay, so I wanna ask you for something. Please comment on these videos. I personally answer every comment. We get questions about new content, new videos, resources, and guess what? I don't leave people hanging. I get you what you need. I answer the comment. I start to share an email with you. Like I will interact and we will curate this channel to provide the responses to your comments. Please like and comment below. We really want to engage with you. We want this to be a partnership. Please right now. Number four is that's when you can install a quality product and you can start to continuously improve. So continuous improvement can only happen when these other components are in place. So let me ask you a question. Can you install a quality product if everyone's not doing it together? And can everyone do it together if there isn't a stable something to do together? And can we have a good system if it's not based on respect for people, right? And if we don't have a quality product with total participation, stability, and respect, how can we continuously improve it? You can't. And that's why lean consultants, we've got to get in the habit of getting projects and companies based on respect with stable systems, with total participation, everybody participating in the system, and then and only then can you produce the product you want and then continuously improve that product with the people on the project site while you're respecting people. It's all, it, I mean, yes, they're all interconnected and it's a part of a complex system, but this is one, two, three, four. You have to develop it in that order. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, okay, I love the definition there. Now, how do I get started? So first and foremost, you're gonna wanna read some books. All right, I just have to suggest that. I've done lots of trainings like Lean Core training, the AGC Lean Certification training, read lots of books, I've done lots of trips, been a Paul Akers fan for uh, over a decade. Like I've taken these trainings and really just dug into my lean journey, but I have to always go back to the books. You're gonna wanna read Paul Akers Two Second Lean. You're gonna wanna read This Is Lean by Nicholas Modig and Par Alstrom. And two other favorites of mine, are The Goal by Eli Goldratt and Critical Chain by Eli Goldratt as well. It'll really teach you how to get that flow. And so in those four books, you've got the respect, you've got the stability, you've got the flow, and you've got total participation. And then you can read books like Out of Crisis to talk about quality and merge that with continuous improvement. But one of the main things that I would recommend is to really start internalizing and reading about lean construction, experiment where you can, and don't just read, implement as you go, and you'll really begin your lean journey. The other thing you can do is check out our podcast, the Elevate Construction Podcast. It directly ties lean thinking into construction. And so those are some ways that you can get started tomorrow. Also a couple of other books for lean scheduling, Tact Planning and Integrated Control for Tact, The Lean Builder by the awesome folks over at The Lean Builder, Keon Zandi and Joe Donnarumo, and then Construction Scrum by Felipe Engineer. You're gonna wanna check out those books. They are absolutely fantastic. One last book recommendation is called Lean and Love 
by Jen Lacey and Jesse Hernandez. Absolutely a fantastic book if you wanna get respect under your belt and really get into that mindset. And so one of the cool things that we've done here is we have written a blog post that you can reference and share with your team. Please go print it out or reference it and teach your team about lean and construction, what it means, because it will frame a mindset that changes everything on your project. We've put it there in the description below. You're gonna to wanna to have it. It also leads to other really cool content and other blog posts that will open your mind and also provide a list of the resources that we want for you as you take your lean journey. You gotta have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really just enjoyed this. I love the definition of lean and construction. It changes everything. It is the way to do construction. It is a business system. It is a way of thinking. It will change your life. Let's do it. Let's do it together. On we go.